Welcome folks to YouTube channel All Group. In previous video, we had learned about introduction of canning, principle and process of canning, container for packing of canned products. In this video, we will be learning about cause of spoilage of canned food. Spoilage of canned products may be due to two reasons: physical and chemical changes, microorganisms. A. Spoilage due to physical and chemical changes. First, swell. When the ends of an apparently normal and perfect can with a good vacuum become bludged, it is termed as swell or blower. The bludge is due to the positive internal pressure of gases formed by microbial or chemical action. First, hydrogen swell. This type of bludging is due to the hydrogen gases produced by the action of food acids on the metal of cans. The bludging ranges from flipping to the hard core. The food remains free from harmful microorganisms and it is fit for consumption. Second, flipper. The can appears normal when they stuck against the table top. One or both ends become convex and spin or flip out, but can be pushed back to the normal condition by a little pressure. Such a can is termed as flipper and may be an initial stage of swell or hydrogen swell. It may also be affected by overfilling, under exhausting, or gas pressure due to spoilage. Third, sprinkler. A mild swell at one or both ends of a can is called sprinkler, which may be initial stage of hydrogen swell or be due to insufficient exhausting or overfilling of the can. The bludge ends can be pressed to the normal position but will again convex after some time. Fourth, soft swell. At a more advanced stage, swell develops at both ends of the can, which can be pressed and returned to the normal position. But springs back when the pressure is removed. The swell of this type is termed as soft swell. Fifth, hard swell. This is the final stage of swell. The blushed end cannot be pressed back to the normal position and can ultimately burst. Second, overfilling. Spoilage due to overfilling is common. During retorting, overfilled cans becomes strained due to expansion of content. And in the absence of vacuum in them, swelling takes place. If the cans are properly heat exhausted, the excess material overflows from it due to the expansion and thus spoilage because of overfilling is avoided. Third, faulty retort operation. When the steam pressure is reduced rapidly at the end of the processing, high pressure develops inside the cans, resulting in their distortion and the cans, when cooled, look like swells. Cans of very thin plate should not be used as they cannot withstand the pressure which develops in the can while processing. Fourth, under exhausting. Cans are exhausted to remove most of the air. This helps in the proper filling of fruits and vegetables and also create a good vacuum, which is necessary to accommodate any pressure that might develop inside the can as a result of production of hydrogen due to the corrosion. Fifth, paneling. It is generally seen in the large sized cans that the body is pushed inward due to the high vacuum inside. This also occurs when the tin plate is thin or the cans are pressure cooled at a very high pressure. In very severe cases, seam leakage may occur but normally this is not regarded as spoilage. Sixth, Rust Cans having external rust must be thoroughly examined. After removing the rust and if the wall shows a pitted appearance, should be rejected as spoiled. Cans slightly affected by the rust, if not used immediately, should be rejected. Rust is mostly seen under the label and subsequently affect the label as well. Rust formation can be checked if the cans are externally lectured. 7. Foreign flavors During preparation, filling, storage, or even transportation, conditions may become unhygienic and the product may develop foreign or off flavors. If unsuitable metallic containers are used, a metallic flavor develops. 8. Damage Rough handling of cans due to carelessness or ignorance may damage them. If canning cans show sign of leakage or severe deterioration, they must be rejected. 9. Undesirable texture Texture is another important characteristic like flavor and color which may be detected easily by the consumer. In order to maintain the standard of the product, its texture should be tested periodically. Although there are no parameters for measuring texture, an instrument like a tendrometer which measures the resistance of shearing and relative tenderness can be used for peas and beans. 10. Corrosion of cans 
tends to become perforated due to the acidity of content, especially highly acid fruits. In recent years, attempts have, have been made to reduce the spoilage by using removed liquor for internal coating of cans. 11. Leakage A leaking can is known as leaker. This may be due to effective seaming, nail hole caused by faulty nails of cases with while packing, excessive internal pressure due to microbial spoilage sufficient to burst a can, internal or external corrosion, mechanical damage during handling. 12th Breathing There may be a very tiny leak in the can through which the air can pass in and destroy the vacuum. In such cases, the food is damaged due to the rusting of the cans caused by oxygen in the air, but it still remains fit for consumption. 13. Bursting This may be caused by excess pressure of gases produced by decomposition of food by microorganisms or by hydrogen gas formed by the chemical action of the food acids on the tin plate. In such cases, canned products cannot be used. 14. Buckling Sometimes due to improper cooling, deterioration of cans take place by resembling swell. Although the deterioration can be corrected by pressing the cans, are often badly stained and contain become spoilage due to the entry of microorganisms. Although the stain seems, this type of spoilage is known as buckling. 15. Discoloration This can be detected by visual examination of the cans and its contain. Discoloration may be due to biological causes like enzymatic or non-enzymatic browning or metallic contamination. Enzymatic browning is due to the enzyme polyphenol oxidase present in the fruits and vegetables can be avoided by placing the peel and cut pieces into 2% salt solution. Non-enzymatic browning is caused by the reaction between nitrogenous compound and sugar. Nitrogenous compound and organic acid, sugar and organic acids among organic acids themselves. These reactions are known as Millard reactions. 16. Stack burning. If the processed can are not allowed to cool down sufficiently before storing, the content remains hot for a long time. This is known as stack burning, which results in discoloration, cooked flavor, and very soft and fluffy product. Therefore, it is necessary to cool the cans quickly to about 39 degrees Celsius before storage. B. Microbial spoilage First, pre-processing spoilage Second, under-processing spoilage Third, after-processing First, pre-processing spoilage This type of spoilage occurs because of the time gap between filling and heat, processing of the container. Although processing checks the growth of the organisms, the gas already present in the cause of swelling and filling, so delay between filling and processing must be avoided and also at all stages in the preservation of raw materials of the canning. Second, under processing spoilage. Under processing of canned food result in their spoilage by thermophilic bacteria and mesophilic organisms and this is termed as under processed spoilage. Third, after processing. Infection due to leakage seems a large number of cans after processing shows sign of microbial spoilage due to leakage of canned seams. Cans which are water cooled are more likely to leak than air cooled ones. In such cases, the cans may or may not swell depending upon the type of the organism. And if there is defect in the seam, it permits a free passage of gas formed in the can. So moreover, buckling also allows entry of microorganisms. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching the video.